Hey Pisces, it's Tanya Lee of Harmonia and welcome to your love reading for April 2021. If you are new to this channel and you feel guided guys, go ahead and hit subscribe. Make sure you hit that bell twice so you get all future updates and a big warm welcome back to my regular subscribers. You guys know the drill. This is the love reading for April. Okay. So it's about how you feel how your person on your mind feels, significant other, loved one, could be even an ex, um, and then the combined energy of you both, okay? Time is fluid, so try not to get hung up even though this is a little bit later in April. I typically post these a little bit earlier, it just hasn't been happening so I took a break, and you know, that's what happens in life. But um, guys, if it, because I'm combining two energies here, if it resonates more on one side, then just flip it, okay? I'm reading for a lot of different people out here, so take what resonates, leave the rest, and don't force anything, anything to fit. If it's not meant for you, it's not meant for you. All right, Pisces, let's get started with the Oracle cards. Calling in our guides, our ancestors, and our Ascendant Masters as to what messages we have for Pisces in love for April 2021. How is Pisces feeling about their person spirit? And how is their person feeling about Pisces? How is their person feeling about Pisces? <clears throat> and what is the combined energy of these two? I'll get to the cards in a second, guys. What is the combined energy of these two? Oh man, there's distance here. I do feel like there's distance. <laughs> yeah. All right, so in the mess, back in the middle here, guys, we have healing. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. There's separation here. Um, Pisces, I feel like, now this is, this is interesting because the energy I'm feeling is sadness. It's almost like somebody had, I don't know if this was a long distance relationship from the beginning, but it's, it's, the separation hurts. It's not, um, it doesn't feel vindictive. It feels like there's a separation here between people who can't be close to one another, okay? They're just too far apart. It's definitely not going to fit for every Pisces out there, a lot of them out here, but this is definitely a long distance relationship. There's some mending here. There's some big moves happening or, or thinking going on here. Now on your side, we have dog far away. A distant friend is thinking of you. Okay, I do feel like you are in communication with this individual. And then you have I, psychic ability, trust your intuition here. So I feel like you know that something's up, that there's a change in this individual. Um, maybe you're concerned that they are moving on. Because it feels like this distance is becoming too much of a burden for both of you, even though you guys have very strong feelings for each other. Now, this is definitely not gonna fit for a lot of people, but this is where we're going. Spirit wants this message out. So somebody's gonna resonate with this. Um, I feel with the dog energy here, this is loyalty, okay? Uh, you have a lot of loyalty with this individual. You trust one another. Um, but there's also this knowing, this inner knowing that if something, if this, distance doesn't change or this communication doesn't flip because communication is so important I mean it's make or break for a relationship that you feel this relationship is not going to make it or continue or maybe it will just be friends right there's something healing about this now on your person side we have desk pay attention to your work and staff you will be taken care of in a difficult time. This is how they feel about you. So, hmm. Pisces, this person's concerned about you because maybe you're having a difficulty being um, distanced from this individual um, working. Maybe you're calling out. For some of you, I feel like you might even be depressed, like going through a it's always feeling this impression of like not wanting to work or not showing up to work. Um, if not, your person's definitely feeling this way. Um, you will be taken care of in difficult times. They see that this distance is really affecting you. Um, 
could have been a last time you guys communicated or saw each other. It feels like when you saw each other, and we haven't even got to the cards yet, but I'm already seeing like an image of this, of a distance, or maybe you guys planned a vacation or a getaway together where you came together, okay? Now, this has been a long distance relationship. Either it started off that way where you guys live together close by each other, but it, th there's a separation here. There's a, there's a chunk of distance here, okay? Now, that doesn't have to be, you know, a state over, but there's hours here, okay? It's definitely not close by. Um, it's kind of like the conversation of how do we make a commitment work or be committed to one another when we're not with each other, okay? Somebody is having a tough time with that. Um, not enjoying the moment of now, okay? And there's some kind of reinsurance that needs to happen, but this is dealing with abandonment issues. This is bringing up something about someone's abandonment issues as well. Interesting. Imagine yourself and your beloved surrounded by light. Feel your relationship being healed this very moment. Somebody is healing their inner child wounds right now. Interesting. All right, what's on your side, Pisces? Let's see what the tarot cards have to say. Ace of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and we have the Eight of Swords reversed. On your person's side, we have the Queen of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles, interesting, and we have the Two of Cups reversed. And the combined energy is the Five of Wands, the Eight of Cups reversed, and we have the Six of Cups. So here's the thing, guys. I'm gonna start with the combined energy and I typically start with that last. But we gotta start here because this fire energy here, Pisces Cancer, or Pisces Cancer, <laughs> Aries Leo, <laughs> Sagittarius, um, Pisces, this is the level of competition here. Okay, this is feeling like there's too many obstacles in the way. Somebody is afraid someone is, um, I don't know if this has decided to become a friendship or not, or maybe you guys said the distance is going to be too hard, let's just stay friends. Someone feels like somebody has options, okay? Um, now, there are two queens on your person side, but that's how they feel, so... Before we get into this, I'm gonna I'm gonna go in here because it, I'm reading two different ways here. There's a couple different messages that I'm getting, but these obstacles is how you both feel. All right, this is what you guys are healing. Eight of Cups, moving away something that was emotionally draining because it was too hard. Right, um, I feel with the Eight of Cups reversed. This is about wanting to come together. Wanting to, and now listen, they're showing me here the swan, so this has been evolving, wants to be evolved to being together in a pair. But I do feel, and everything's a pair in here. There's a pair of dragonflies, there's a pair of birds, there's a pair of butterflies. The only one that's not a pair is, is the woman walking away is a ladybug. Or is her lady maybe? <laughs> oh, or girl. But listen, someone wants to bridge this gap. There's too much of a gap away from here. And like I said, I feel like the distance is what got this away, which really affected this relationship. Okay. Now, the Six of Cups is that, like I said, you guys could have been friends for quite some time here. This is your own energy here. More cup energy here with Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. But... Um, like I said, could have common friends, could feel like a soulmate, um, could have felt like you met this person and knew them all your life when you get together, but there's something, or it could have even been a childhood friend. There is something in a level where you guys either grew up together or you just feel like you know each other or know a lot about each other. Okay. Something common. It feels, it feels like a soulmate. All right. And you both feel this way. And I feel like a lot of you are just seeing the distance here. I'm seeing these balloons go up in the air, this distance, all right? Focusing on that. How do we make this work? Now, on your side, with the Ace of Wands, fire energy here, 
Aries Leo Sagittarius again, but this is having, again, I feel like you're in a distance with a book here and that rose coming right out of there. Um, this is about having a lot of passions, desires to come together. I feel like you're keeping a strong eye on this individual, wanting to take action towards them, okay? Wanting to work together. How do we make this grow? How do I make this grow? How do we, how do we change this gap? But this is a brick. It's a brick flower. So it feels like a, like a hard place to get to, okay? How do we make this work? It just seems very hard. And I feel the level here with this eight of swords energy, which is usually a lot of that inner anxiety, feeling like you're caged up here. This is reverse, meaning that something was released. I feel either your person or you, it was too much anxiety being apart. And it's like, maybe we should just release this, okay? Because the, the, the eight of swords is released. So somebody felt burdened by this. I feel like it was you. I feel like you felt burdened by this. Now you can flip it like how you said, but like I feel like you feel like it, it was flipped by this. Now, on your person side, we have the Queen of Cups, who's loving, passionate, very intuitive, goes with the flow, just so supportive, next to the Queen of Pentacles who's the mother, the nurturing, compassionate queen. Now I'm saying queens, guys, the female energy, but we all have feminine masculine energy. You take it how it is. This person comes off as motherly. Now I'm reading a couple different messages, so we're going to do a couple different stories here on here. We also have the two of cups, which was reversed. So this partnership is not together, okay? How they feel. Your person may have another option okay i do not feel like they've made any decisions yet could just be friendship okay or going with the flow to test it out here okay they're trying to heal they didn't want this distance i feel like either you didn't want to move or something or you ended it because it was becoming too much for the distance was becoming too much but there was a standstill about the move that i'm hearing all right um now like I said, it could be another person, another option. I don't feel like anything started yet with the two of cups reversed. There's no partnership here on either end, on either end, not on yours or this other person. Now, for some of you, this is not another individual. It, well, it is another individual, but not another love interest. This could actually be a mother, a nurturing mother. There's something about this mother that is here to help this person. Maybe this person is healing inner mother wounds, right? Maybe they're maybe they have issues with their mom that this abandonment's coming up, right? That they're, they're trying to heal. Let's see, let's see. We're gonna validate these cards. We're gonna use the after tarot. I do not do um, reversals on the after tarot. So let's see what that is. But there's two stories. One where they might have more of a platonic choice here. Um, but I feel like the love and the passion they have is, is for is for you. It's just this distance. There's there's something here where it's not the next level. There's something here that's broken about it. Separation. All right, let's get spirit get um, validation on the Ace of Wands, the Three of Pentacles, and the Eight of Swords. Here we go. Yeah, we have the Tower here the nine of wands and we have the five of wands again more fire energy it could be dealing with a fire sign unexpected news you definitely found something out about this individual could have been on social media too that you saw that they were dating or something so something came out or you heard through the whisper line or this person could have just been honest with you saying hey i met someone okay but it's like enough to go oh my god it's finished they're not even floating in the ground it's like no it's done it's done Okay, like really it's done. So now what's happening here with the nine of wands is someone's feeling defensive or guarded, wounded, upset because someone's trying to move on, right? I don't feel like, I feel like Pisces, you were not expecting this person. I feel like it was you who said that you couldn't deal with the distance 
maybe broke it off said let's just keep it casual and then they started to date or be open about it and i feel like it was like wait what what what's going on here okay because the eight of swords reverse now is the five of wands validated by this now this five of wands is very different from this one. Typically they're fighting here and everything, all right? But again, both of these cards are very like they're sitting back here. I feel that you, like nobody's, there's no, there's no competition where these guys are all fighting, okay? Let's fight for Pisces person. <laughs> I just feel that you either know this news or this person was platonic enough to tell you the news. Okay, it's like, it's not an obstacle. It's just, this is, is what it is. I have other options. I'm looking at other options, okay? But the anxiety of letting this person go is now bringing up the fact that there's other options here. Now, this could be you too. This could be what you're doing as well, okay? Let's see, Pisces, what's on their side here. Let's validate this Queen of Cups, this Queen of Pentacles, and this Two of Cups. The Magician. The Two of Pentacles, yeah, and the World card. Again, the distance. The distance is what's so heavily on this person. This person would love to manifest this back. Figure out how the hell to get this obstacle out of the way. They're utilizing all the tools that they have, okay? Communications <laughs> here with the swords, the pentacles here with an earth energy. They got the wand in the air. They got the cup here. Totally trying to manifest something here. Because there is a lot of love. But now they're in the predicament here with this. Do I move on? Do I test the waters? Because the distance is too far and this whole juggling act, right? Um, but it's platonic. I don't feel like that. Now, others of you, the issue is a mom. Like, I feel like there is a mom in <laughs> this mix where maybe they don't want to leave the mom or make a distance from there or the mom's playing victim on there, but it feels like they, this person might feel like they're leaving somebody. There's an abandonment issue or inner child work. Now that's going to be from a couple of you, but this message has to come out about something is being blocked by a mom, literally. A motherly figure, all right? Others of you, this person is in some kind of platonic relationship with, with someone. Um that's very nurturing and loving. But again, where their heart is, it's with the person that is too far away. Okay, too far away for this union to happen. Let's see what this outcome cards are because the five of wands, the eight of cups, and the six of cups, it just feels very stagnant. And I feel like, I feel like you both are healing. Yeah, we have the ace of swords, the Knight of Swords, and we have the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands and the Six of Cups, guys, for those of you who follow the Twin Flame journey, this could be a Twin Flame, but it does not feel the level of, you know, it could feel like the level of the Runner or Chaser, but this feels like you two are communicating and being um, nurturing in that level. This does not feel vindictive. Okay, I know a lot of us are, who got really burnt out by other people or they're like, this person went away or they were a cheater or a liar. The cards I'm reading are not vindictive right now. Okay, this energy I'm feeling is that it broke up because of a distance, a physical distance. Ace of Swords. Truth came out. Truth came out that they're back on the market. Now, if they're not on the back of the market, it's both of you. Okay, because it's combined energy of you both. Okay, there has been some kind of communication. This is an opportunity to see how you really feel about one another. That's what I'm hearing, okay? Knight of Swords with the Eight of Cups reverse, that reconciliation. There is some quick communication happening. There might be some jealousy here, okay? It could be you who's speaking, being a little bit jealous, going, oh, you know, what can we do to make this work? But somebody's coming in hot and quick. It's gonna jolt someone off their feet, all right? Could be very blunt with their words about their feelings or their anger, okay? But this is wanting to reconcile and it's kind of like abrupt, okay? Four of Wands and the Six of Cups. How do we make this work? 
Guys, this is as much as I'm getting with the validation cards. You haven't gotten to that point yet, okay? What I feel is the communication is about what do we do? We obviously have strong feelings for one another. What do we do? Now, everybody's story is going to be a little bit different, but what I really see with the Four of Wands is celebration. It's usually a reunion coming together. But on this one, they are on a carriage moving away. I feel like the discussion is how do we bridge the gap, okay? So I do feel for a lot of you, this is someone saying, get the hell in the freaking carriage. We're, one of us is moving. We're going to make it work because I feel like there's actions being taken on here. There will be a discussion for, for some of you and others of you. It's not there yet. It's just this abrupt discussion of like, you know, what you decide, you know, maybe you guys are going to part for a little bit and they are going to date or you're going to date, but it does feel that energy of who's moving. <laughs> You'll have to let me know in the comments here, guys. All right, guys, if you like this reading, go ahead and hit like, comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. As a reminder, if you want something more personal and private, I do have private sessions. All of that information is on my website. You can only book through my website, which is in the description box below. My sessions, guys, are not just 20 or 15 minute readings. It's an hour session, video session, one-on-one -on -one with me. I'm not just a psychic medium. Um, I am in... I'm a life coach. I'm an intuitive healer. So keep in mind that these sessions aren't just utilizing cards. We get to the grind and the grit of everything, all right? So we talk, we talk, we get to see what it is. It's really about finding the power in you, all right? These decisions are made by you. Cards are just tools. They're just tools. All right, guys, I will see you next time. Take care.